I believe that it is really healing to the survivors involved. And I know it's very healing for myself. I am Megumi Naganoma. I am a sculpture artist and I focus in rape awareness arts specifically. I have been doing this kind of art for about five years and I have been a rape survivor for six. I say survivor instead of victim because we do not all survive the actions of a rapist. That is why we are rape survivors. Listen to Them is a collection of hand-sewn cones all standing at the height of the survivors during the time of their attack. Here I represented women, children, and men. One of the entries came from someone that was five years old at the time of their attack, the youngest person represented here. Currently, there are 21 cones, but I plan to make more. Everyone represented is someone that I know personally. Listen to Them is diverse. Participants included those of every race, faith, sexual orientation, and identity. There is no one type of survivor. They exist as friends, family, educators, world travelers, scientists, and every other role. The stories were sent in to me in a number of ways, anywhere from email to handwritten letters, ranging from one paragraph to up to 17 pages. Each entry was rich in detail. Given to me were their memories of what the survivors felt, saw, and heard. They also shared bits about themselves, such as what gives them comfort. All these specific things were taken into account when I was choosing the fabrics for each individual cone. Every detail, every image, every symbol has to do with the individual story and who they are. Some of the figures have multiple points. That is because certain individuals suffered more than once. So for the cone that has two points, they suffered two different attacks. But for the other two cones that have multiple points, they suffered many years of sexual assault. On each of the cones, there is a small book where I've handwritten parts of each entry. The words chosen were purposeful, just to give the viewers just a little bit of each story, without overwhelming them either with too much information, and while keeping each survivor's identity into consideration. I did not want to give anyone's identity completely out, and I want to respect the idea of being anonymous. Each of the little books is closed with a teal ribbon and a teal button. That is the official color for rape awareness and sexual assault. Even though rape is talked about more now than ever before, there is still a stigma to when someone comes out and tells their story. There is a shame that comes with it because of people blaming them, asking questions about what happened to them that day. That kind of thing pushes people into silence, and that is a really scary and lonely place to be. This is a project that I plan to continue for the years to come. I believe that it is really healing to the survivors involved, and I know it's very healing for myself. I believe that it also helps give a platform to the survivor community, one where they can have their voice, but also not be put in the spotlight. I think this helps also the world know a little bit of what happens, that every rape attack is different and every survivor is different. I think that this is something we need and we need to push forth as a community.